What's up guys? Welcome back to this tutorial series where we're going to learn a little bit more about functions. And with this, you guys have actually you guys have worked with functions from day 1 when we started going through these tutorials. And a classic case of a function is this main function here where obviously in the previous tutorials, you guys learned that uh, the program or the compiler goes to this function first to run your programs. But uh, continuation, we also went through printf and scanf is a couple other functions there but functions allow you to quickly and easily write different parts of your program and then call them later in your program and even other parts of your uh, your program as they get larger and different things uh, basically tackle tasks for you so now what we're gonna do is is have an extending function training right now and so what we're going to do is just quickly write, um, well let's start up here. We're going to write out a quick function and then I'm going to explain it here. So we're going to write void, which basically is the first part of our function. And void is basically telling our compiler that this, this function doesn't return any values. All right, It's a little bit different from like int, where we're returning an integer value to our main function. All right, So we're going to start out with void, and we're just going to call this our Jedi rank. Whoops. Jedi rank. And then we're going to put some parentheses there where we won't have any arguments being passed into it. We could put void here to tell our compiler don't uh, don't allow any arguments to be passed through. In this case we'll just leave it blank. And I have put a semicolon there. I actually wanted to put some uh, uh, curly braces there. Because essentially this right here is a function in and of itself. All right. So we've got our main function which our compiler comes to and it goes hey whatever's in here execute alright and we have nothing there so it's not gonna run anything you can go ahead and run your program now and we also have this Jedi rank which isn't being called anywhere but we've established the function that we're gonna call later in our program here and so essentially again the void basically tells our program or our compiler that there's gonna be no values passed into this specific named function here we go on to the next part which is Jedi rank which is our name of the function and then we go on to these parentheses here which tells our program any arguments that would be passed through this function here. All right, so that's cool. We've we've developed a function. Now what we're going to do is put a little application into it, and we're going to have it print to screen. So in this case, our Jedi rank is we'll say 14, and we'll go ahead and put a semicolon there to end our printf statement. All right, so let's go ahead and run it, and I'll show you guys that again we have nothing on the screen by establishing this function we have done absolutely nothing but establish it so now what we have to do is we have to go into our main function which our compiler is looking at and our compiler is looking in here and going there's nothing there yet give me something to do and so we simply have to call our function now and it's as simple as just going Jedi rank putting our parentheses with a semicolon alright so now you can run it and you'll see that we get the returned result of our function being called. So essentially our compiler comes through here, goes through the main, it hits what is our new function. This function here looks to where we've established it and takes the actions and the program statements that we've developed here and displays those on the screen accordingly. Alright, so we can do the same thing with uh, we can create another function, we'll just go void, and we'll go Jedi Master we won't pass any arguments there don't forget the curly braces and then we'll simply print f uh, in this case we'll say you are far away from me and then a semicolon at the end so again you guys could run it it wouldn't show anything but the Jedi rank at this point but we could go down here and call our function Jedi master and when we go ahead and run our program it goes 14 you are far away from me and then what we can do also is we can add a Jedi rank, another one, and another one. And you'll see if we run that, it's going to duplicate what our function is, what function we're calling. So that's the beauty of it is we can go throughout our whole program, we can establish these different functions that essentially have a bunch of different, uh, different things that your program is going to execute. And we can call them in different parts of our program to accomplish what is going to be the next big app idea. So we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial, and we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.